We return now to Opera for You with your host, William H. Wells. We are most pleased that Franco Corelli is making his American radio English-speaking debut on Opera for You. Mr. Corelli, I want to welcome you to Opera for You and tell you how much we enjoyed your opening night performance in Andrea Chenier. Yes, I am very happy for my opening night. Thank you very much. Mr. Corelli, can you tell our audience where you made your opera debut and in what part? In Spoleto, I did my first opera and was in Don Cosé in Carmen. Why did you begin to sing so late, Mr. Corelli? I did not wait late. I beginning uh, 22 years old and for Italian people to beginning to sing at the profession of a singer is not late. It is not late. All right. Can you tell me, we have heard that you are self-taught. Have you ever used a voice teacher or a coach? I never use a teacher for the voice, but I use a teacher only for study the score. I think that is very good because obviously the method that you use works very well. Can you tell me, Mr. Corelli, was your voice a dramatic tenor voice from the beginning? My voice is born at dramatic. I wonder if you have ever sung lyric roles, Mr. Corelli, and do you feel your voice is too big for certain operas? I like uh, lyric role very much. I believe that there is not the opera, that the voice is too big. Because I use a lyric voice for a lyric role and a dramatic voice for a dramatic role. Therefore, you are able to sing both type of roles very well. Which roles do you sing most often? All Verdi's operas. All right. Now, can you tell me, what unusual operas, Mr. Corelli, do you have in your repertoire? Um, Ugonotti, Poliuto, Pirata, Battaglia di Legnano, and the song. Well, what is your favorite part, and why? Mm, my favorite part are to Juan Chenier, because it's romantic. Uh, the other in Carmen, because it's dramatic. Perché? Uh, Mr. Corelli, we most often think of you in the Verdi and Puccini parts. What unusual operas do you have in your repertoire? Um, Ugonotti, Poliuto, Pirata, Battaglia di Legnano, Giulio Cesare, Ercole, Iphigenia di Gluck, Guerre e Pace di Prokopiev, and uh, so on. This is a very wide repertoire which most people do not know about. But I wonder, what is your favorite part and perhaps why? My favorite parts are two. One Chigny because it's romantic. The other is Carmen because it's dramatic. I think those are two excellent parts, and we are looking forward to hearing you do Don Jose here in New York City. Are there any roles which you prefer not to sing anymore? No. I love uh, all operas. All right. Well, that means that we can look forward to hearing you in many more operas in New York City. Mr. Corelli, we have all heard that you use recordings and tapes to improve your voice, Mr. Corelli. Can you tell us how you do this? I use uh, always a tape for story, and uh, I like to hear myself always after performance and uh, rehearsal. I am sure that new, you know your voice best and that this is an excellent method of study. Why do you prefer to teach yourself, Mr. Corelli? It's uh, too difficult for me to explain uh, this in English. I will try one other time. All right. Well, that means that you will return as a guest on Opera for You some other time. Yes. Many people have felt that the part of Otello is ideally suited to your talent. Why have you waited so long to sing Otello, and when will you sing this part? I am 35 years old, and I am too young to make so big a role now. But maybe it's possible that I change my mind pretty soon. Well, I certainly hope you do, and I feel very certain that one day we will hear you in this most exciting and most dramatic part. Mr. Corelli, would you ever like to sing Wagner? Oh, yes. I should like to sing Wagner, but with Maestro Karajan. 
Well, Mr. Corelli, you are not the only singer who enjoys working with Mr. Von Karajan, and I'm sure that he is able to help all of the singers under whom he conducts. How important do you value acting in opera? I believe that the acting is very important in opera. I should like to explain this important thing some other time when my English is better. Well, as I said earlier, you already have another invitation to return and talk to us. Mr. Corelli, since you are most definitely a dramatic tenor with a big voice, do you find the tessitura and the vocal line of Bellini difficult? I sing Bellini and I love very much Bellini. I had already sing Bellini's operas. Norma and the Pirata. And now I will sing Puritani with Sutherland. There is very seldom a tenor who can do parts such as Monrico and some of the other heavier parts that you sing, such as Chenier, and then turn around and sing the very high Bellini operas. This is certainly very rare. Do you consider yourself primarily a Verdi tenor? I can answer this is a question for the critics. Well, if I remember correctly, the critics all agreed that Franco Corelli sang Verdi very well. I would like to know what are your plans for the future if you have any new roles or recordings? My plans for um, the future are many, but excuse me, I don't know enough English for answer um, to this very important question. Well, I know that your career will continue to progress, and of course this year we had your new operatic recital and also the new recording of Cavalleria Rusticana and I'm sure there will be a welcome audience for anything that you might wish to record in the future. Mr. Corelli, I know that it's been very difficult for you to make this interview in English, but I would like to thank you on behalf of all of your fans. Thank you so much again. Thank you very much. Yes, it was very difficult for me to speak English, but I enjoyed it because I wanted to speak with my fans, and goodbye for tutti.